In today's video, I want to go over my Spectre WM bar. It's a pretty simple bar, no colors, just text and no emojis, uh, mainly because that's not my thing. But I wanted to go through how to set it up and the functions I've written to make it a little more useful. So let's hop over to the desktop and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to look at your spectrewm.com file. So tell you what, let me get out of this. Let's take a look at it real quick. So for the bar settings that we're going to use here, you want to make sure that you have, of course, you have your bar enabled. And you don't necessarily have to fool with border width. That just kind of draws a border around the bar, so it's not really necessary. But this one here is pretty important, especially if you want to have colors or uh, Unicode or any kind of emojis or whatever in the, in the bar up here. You definitely want to have bar action expand. So if you don't have this in your uh, spectrewm.com file, take a look at your man page. So let's open, let's open up the man page real quick. Make this big enough to, for everybody to see. So let's say man spectrewm. So if you look for, let's say, bar action expand, the process bar, for, bar format character sequences in bar action output. So you can have, you want bar action expand set to one, mainly for the colors and stuff. You definitely want to have that. And of course, you can set your bar border colors and you can set your, your border for unfocused and your bar color itself. And here you can have your, I just, I added a, a line here to make things a little simpler for me. It is kind of nice to be able to minimize stuff. So the first one is your, is the white font color, the red font color, green, yellow, blue, magenta, cyan, and white. And I use these for, I got these colors from my X defaults or X resources for my terminal theme. A lot of these colors will actually match the color text in my terminal. I have my bar font set to Ubuntu Mono, Ubuntu Mono pixel size of 20. It's usually about 14, but I, I increase the size of it for simplicity for the video. And of course, my bar action script is in my .config folder called baraction.sh. You can have bar justify, you know, left, center, or right. I just, I left it at left because I'm actually going to change that in the bar format in just a second. So if, so if you're looking at the next line here at bar format, you're going to see a, a plus pipe L. Now that's also a new feature for weight and justify. That's in Spectre WM. So if I do super control and I again, let's bring up the man page back. So if we go down to bar format, you see you got a plus and a pipe and wait and justify. And this start this marks the start of a new bar section. So you can actually separate your bar out how you, how you see fit. So you're going to have your weight and justify. So you want to your weight is by default one. So you can actually omit that. So Plus pipe L will mean everything is left justified after after this part here. Our plus N is going to be my screen number. Seeing how I have three screens, it's not kind of nice to know. And then you got a colon and plus I. Plus I is the workspace index. So if I have if I'm on screen one workspace, I don't know, nine, it'll do one colon nine. And then it will give me D, which is the workspace name, inside these two greater than less than symbols. And it will give me plus S. Plus S is the stacking algorithm. So if I change my stacking algorithm, this will change as well. And then plus M is also a new feature. Plus M is the number of, or I'm sorry, it's not necessarily a new feature, but it is the number of iconic or minimized windows in the workspace. So what I have here is zero, it's set to zero now, 
But if I minimize this again, so super and I, you see that zero changed to one and I have min set here. So I have one minimized window. And to get out and to get it back, super shift and I is what I have set and then hit enter. But then I have a pipe and a space and plus C. C is the window class. So I'm my terminal right now is ST, so that's why you see ST here. Then everything else, let's see, I have a pipe 2R. I don't necessarily even have to have the 2, but I can do plus pipe R here, and it would be fine. So everything after this is going to be right justified. Then plus A is the output of my external script or my bar action.sh. Then I'll have percent A, comma, percent B, percent D, percent R which is my clock up here. So that's what gives me Monday, May 4th, 1539. That's about all I wanted to show in the spectrewm.com file. So let me exit out of the man page and quit out of this. And let's do vim.config slash baraction.sh. In here, I have a date function, but I'm not using it, which pretty much does the same exact thing that I did in the spectrewm.com file. And here I have the dip. I have my disk for the root uh, folder, and it will give me my percentage used and and how much is used. So I'm using seven gigs. I'm using up 27% of my root of my root partition. Next is my RAM. So I'm use so I have a function set up for mem and mem equals free dash h, and I'm piping that through awk, and I'm looking for mem. And then I'm printing out the third column, a slash, and the second column. So my output of mem is going to echo mem here. And then it's going to give me 2.1 gigs of the 62 gigs it says I've got. And CPU, I actually borrowed this one from DistroTube. And I borrowed the HDD one from DistroTube as well. But I have since changed this one a little bit in... In the other computer that I've got, Return Spectre WM, I just haven't changed it over here yet. I'm actually reading out of the home folder instead of this one. So if you're interested in that, I'll probably put both of them on my GitHub page. I borrowed this one from DistroTube, and this was a very, very nice way of just getting the percentage of my CPU that's being used at, the, at any given time. My volume, I'm using... A mixer with the D flag for pulse audio and using pulse audio to get the master, running that through awk and getting rid of the brackets. And I'm printing out the fourth column, colon, second column. So I, so my volume is on column and set it 100%. And I'm echoing I'm echo out volume and vol. So volume on colon 100%. Now the packages, I'm just running a simple uh, command here for apt list dash dash installed and piping that through word count space dash L. And that gives me a line, uh, line count for the installed packages. And it echoes out packages colon dollar PKGS, which gives me 2047, which is a lot, but I've got a lot of software installed in here. I've been trying out a bunch of stuff, so... Yeah. So for upgrades, I'm not even using that one right now. But what that's but what that does, I was having trouble getting at, uh, apt to give me a zero for when everything is up to date. So I decided to use aptitude, which I which honestly I really like aptitude a lot. So I use aptitude search, and I'm using the the U flag here and piping that through word count. So that will give me a zero if there's nothing if there's nothing to upgrade. Now my VPN, I, I I know this this one's not exactly elegant, but it was quick and dirty, and that's what I and kind of that's kind of my style anyway. So I have VPN set to the output of IP space A, and it's going to grip ton zero because ton zero exists when the uh, VPN is connected, but it does not when the VPN is disconnected. So I'm gripping that through INET as well and giving and having it count the lines. That's why you see VPN connections equals 
dollar VPN because when the VPN is not connected, it will give me a zero up here. When it is connected, I get a one. Now for weather, weather I, I'm not using in my colored bar yet, but because I haven't, I haven't quite set that up, but the weather, I'm actually using a cron job to pull down the weather forecast for my area through WTTR.IN. So if we're gonna look at that real quick, let's make, here, let's use let's use bash. Let's curl WTTR.IN. Let's do, let's say Tuscaloosa. And so let's say if you only wanted to get this output, you can pretty easily do that too. Let's say you wanted to make a click action and it would just pop and it would just come up with something like this. So what I've actually what I'm actually doing here is I have a cron job set up to run this command every hour. So let's let's go run curl wttr dot in slash Tuscaloosa because that's fairly close to where I'm at anyway. And we're going to do question mark format equals J1 because that's going to give me a JSON format. But if you wanted to have the ANSI uh, text, you can do slash Tuscaloosa and then pipe that through. Let's say said 7Q. And that will give you just this output. But what I want to do is get a JSON output. So let's do question mark format equals J1 and we're going to pipe that through said let's say 30Q and that's going to give me the first 30 lines or so of my weather forecast and then I can set an awk and everything and get what I want from there. You see I have a one line script here so it's running curl and it's running exactly what I what I wrote earlier but it's putting in in home slash dot config slash weather dot txt. So it's running that every hour. So if you go to weather dot txt, let's say let's cat that out. It's the same thing as what we got earlier. So let's get out of that. So it's going to run said twenty q on home slash dot config weather dot txt and then grep value and then print the second column and third column, and then you said to get rid of the quotation marks. And then it's going to echo out the output of WTHR. Now the temperature is actually just going to do the same, fault, the same file, but it's going to grip temp F for temperature Fahrenheit. It's going to use awk to print the second column. It's going to use said to remove the to remove the quotation marks and to remove the comma and add a space capital F at the end of it. And let's comment this one out. Uncomment this one. And you can see that I have that it's sunny and 86 degrees. And if I wanted to get more up to date uh, weather, all I would all I would have to do is let's say. And do that and it and this will update within about two seconds and yeah that's really about all i've got for today i just kind of wanted to show off what i've got uh what i've got set up here as far as how my how my bar is set up how it shows me my memory usage my cpu usage my the number of packages the uh free space i have on the root partition uh vpn connections volume and i get my weather from there uh, if you're interested in any, in any of this stuff, I will post the uh, I'll post everything over on my GitHub page and my, probably in my personal dot files. So if you'd like to take a look at it, feel free. Anything I post over there is you're more than welcome to use how you see fit. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.